My yeah. mom told me not to let you guys peer pressure me in that. No What is up machines and machine freaks? I hope you guys are feeling froggy, fresh, and super fly. I am going to try to make an update video here, but first of all, Saturdays are definitely for the boys. Go, what are Saturdays for? Boys! I don't know what we've Oh, a little jerk, here we go. It's always good. That was zero jerk. That, 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 that was no, there you go. Now he's gonna think that he's gonna take him somewhere, but he's really not gonna go anywhere. We're kind of in the same predicament as Ian right now. We're kind of stuck, not really sure what the hell is going on. You guys don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on. What I do know though is I did my taxes early, and if you follow me on Instagram, you would have saw the big box of receipts I have. Learning a lot about that. Something has to change. Two small or four small? <laughs> Whatever you want to do, buddy. <laughs> Ian's already calling you out. Like nothing. A myth that I want to lay to rest right now is that I'm going crazy because I'm not over my girlfriend. I'm a very logical person. Any educated person, any person with street sparks would understand that and understand that I'm not a sad person. I'm not an upset person. I look at things logically and get over them. I'm not going to let something happen and upset me for the rest of my life or for a, an extensive period of time. That's silly. Second thing, uh, why did I take my videos down? The whole thing, the whole YouTube thing has been really strange. I talked about this like a year ago, a year and a half ago, and it's just strange. So I have to follow that curve and I have to do something different. So I have goals and this thing that I'm doing now that I used to do that I did very well and I made good money at it is no longer there. I don't make the money that I used to on YouTube. Don't make the money that I used to on machinemerch.com. This is before I stopped uploading. That's what led to the not uploading. If I had more support, more viewers, more people that uh, watched the ads, people that bought machine merch, then we would still continue to make videos. If I can't do it and make money at it, it doesn't make sense and it doesn't make financial sense to do it. I'm sorry, I made like a thousand something videos. I was, I was always told the more I give, the more I receive. However, that philosophy wasn't working for me and it hasn't been working for me. So that's why I have to change things up and I wanna do things differently. Ben got stuck and then I had to jump on his front rack, got him out here. Kyle got stuck twice now. And he went through the most difficult thing with only two wheel drive, so. I don't know what Seth's doing over here yet. We'll find out. Basically, I'm going to continue to do what I've done the entire time here at 3D Machines, and that is to do what I want to do. And to, to put something more positive into the world than negative into the world. If I see in person, I'm going to be positive. If I upload, I want to be positive. I, I don't want crap. I have good morals and I have positive goals and I don't want me doing something different to affect your opinion on me. I know I know only the idiots and the, the people with not a lot up here will judge very quickly and that's really unfortunate. But you guys that really support what I do and what I am going to do in the future, I want to thank you guys very much. <laughs> oh, he went down hard. Oh, he went down shit. hard. <laughs> uh oh. And that sucker is steep. I'm like halfway up the hill right now on the other side. That sucker is steep. Hey right, Kyle, check the wind too while you're at it. Check the what? The wind. Is it good? <laughs> Safe, huh? Oh yeah. Yeah, sweet. Out the way, Kyle. Move. He struggled. Don't ruin the shot, my friend. He hit it too fast. I've all made it up twice. Ian's not gonna make it. He doesn't know Hand yet. It off. Hand it off. He doesn't know yet, but he's not gonna make it. Because Ian's not very shot. good. Get the shot. Hold on, Ian. Are you recording it? Hold on, Ian. Uh, Here we go. We're off to a great start already. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Sit. 
Send we've made it at least send three it. feet. Send it. Send it. Everyone got their phones on, right? Yep. Send All right, it, we need 911. Hit it! Oh. oh my god! Never gonna make it like that! Oh my god! <laughs> Oh, he's stuck right there, probably. Oh, here we go. Take two. Oh, he's it. He got it. Oh. <laughs> he's making it a muddy mess. He's got now. the gas and the brake on at the same time. <laughs> that takes skill. Come on, Ian. Why can't you do it? I don't. Why can't you make it? You gotta get speed hey, at it. Hey. Hopefully, I can probably make it now. I probably <laughs> it off. <up. laughs> I think that's a challenge. He's gonna send it. That's good. So I suggested, you know, this hill we could we could do. Kyle and I could do. So now I suggested to Kyle, hey, let's go up this side. Well, he kind of creeped over to the left. Now he's uh, changing up the obstacle course. Kyle, you do have a wench. Are you going to use it yet? No, it's hey, winch, hey, not wench. Is that, what plan is that? Like plan D? Run, oh, now he's on plan C because he's got the, there we go. Hey, you want me to give you a push? There you go, there you go, there you go. Ah. Whatever you do, buddy, do not lean right. That always is not good. Hey, Seth, give it a lot of juice when you're doing that so it sounds like you're going fast. We're not going no square fast. Not, not too fast, huh? We just beached pretty good. I need one of the knobs to pull me out. You got, you got to. this. Here, you want me to sit on the front? I bet you if I sit on the front and you goose it, we can get out of there. Don't no fall off her, man. Oh, yeah. Is it four? She's done. She's done. He's got it. Nice little relaxing stroll, huh? Jesus, dude. Well, he did make it. Just he, he almost took out the cameraman, but he made it. Another thing I want to make abundantly clear is the fact that I do want to give you guys what you want. Something to distract you from the world for a second. Something to put a smile on your face. That's what I will continue to do. I promise. Here are some updates. Had to clean off the bed of the Duramax because we got some new tires. These things, these things are gnarly. We dropped the tires and the rims off at Chris's. Chris has put the tires on the rims. We even got some Instagram pictures. I guess Chris has a new dog, so we can put uh, wheels on this thing today. We're just finishing up putting our Rough Country front adjustment track bar kit in. Most of our Rough Country stuff is, is bolt-on so that anybody can do it, but we have a welder. So we don't bolt things on, we just kind of weld them. So this bracket right here, it's completely welded. And then you guys know it was just Christmas. Well, it's literally Christmas in here. There are so many new parts, so many things that can go on this thing. It's just crazy. Like, here's our lug nuts. Those things are wicked. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. We're fixing the seat. Thank you guys for calling me out on that. I didn't think about the whole accident thing. With an accident, you know, so I did the driver's side, now Jason's prepping the passenger side. So Chris and the guys from Maxxis suggested these tires for the Jeep. They kind of know what we're doing with it. The Maxxis Razor MTs. And we put them on the powder coated rims. They're puncture resistant. There's actually some chemical filler in these tires to prevent like chipping and stuff like that. So yeah, we're rocking some pretty sweet shoes. We got this front fender on and things are kind of like mocked up. They're not completely bolted down because this thing has to come off for paint, but it has to sit there for the exhaust system. I think we're actually gonna have to modify this turbo, um, the, the plumbing of the turbo. 
because it's kind of, it gets really, really close to the starter down in there. The apex, as you can see, is all back together. We got those parts in. This thing does start. It does run well. It does pull like a NASCAR. You gotta think, this thing has a thousand cc engine. This has the exact same engine. Well, a similar, I, it might be the exact same engine as Crush, and this thing weighs like half of the weight. And finally for the KTM, as you can see, we got some new spoke wraps on, some brand new spoke wraps. The other ones were completely faded. We went with the orange and blue. Things are moving forward. It's the new year. Just like that, the Apex is out of the 3D Machines warehouse. The KTM's right here, and I'm right here. Things are still going to move forward, whether it's on camera or not. I do want to thank you again for supporting me, this channel, the videos, the sponsors, everything here I, I am very grateful for. Like I said, I'm not going anywhere. I just don't know what I'm going to do yet. I would appreciate it if you follow me on Instagram. I'd appreciate it if you turn your notifications on because I don't know what I'm going to upload, but I, I am going to share you guys. Stay froggy fresh. Stay super fly. I love you guys. I love the hell out of you. Thank you for what you've done. We're, we're going to keep going. Just don't know how we're going to do it.